Hello again. Welcome to another class. La frase, they won't go to the beach at the end of July. Tenía intención de ir a finales de julio a la playa, pero al final no lo van a hacer. No irán. They won't go. La contracción de will not. They will not go. Pero nadie lo dice así. Decimos siempre, they won't go. Won't, won't. Contracción complicada. Fonéticamente. They won't. They won't go to the beach. To the beach. To go 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 to the seaside. Otra alternativa, pero se dice mucho más. To go to the beach. Ir a la playa. They won't go to the beach at the end of July. July. La, la septi el séptimo mes. The seventh month. July. June, July. At the end of July. At the end of September. At the end of November. At the end of January. At the end of. At the end of. At the end of my life. At the end of time. At the end of July. Y bienvenidos a la clase 178. Ahora vamos a ver la frase. They won't go to the beach at the end of July. No irán a la playa al final de julio. Y ahora nos centraremos en la primera parte de la frase. They won't. Sí, tengo que decir que esta clase va a ser una pronunciation special. Voy a machacar tu pronunciación porque esta es una palabra que da muchas dificultades. Es won't y no want. No seas vago, tenemos, o vago, tenemos que decir won't, won't, baja el mandíbulo o la mandíbula, won't, they won't. Sí, estoy exagerando un poco, pero hay que exagerar, porque así la gente te va a entender, y si no, van a quedar, mm, está diciendo querer, want, o won't, they won't. Te pongo a prueba, ¿qué estoy diciendo? They won't. Eso es, quieren, they want. Y ahora, they want. Quieren otra vez, muy bien, they won't. Perfecto, no, no están haciendo, they won't, no van a, wo, wo, won't. Oh, hi, uh, it's Mr. Strong, and say hello to these. Uh, well, I was just talking with uh, the crew here, el, el equipo, and uh, they won't work. Yeah, they won't work. Huh, they're on strike, están en huelga. Yeah, no, me? I want to work, yo quiero trabajar, but they, they won't do it. Yeah, they won't start up the cameras. They won't turn on the microphones. They won't do it. They won't. Huh, they're being difficult, not me. I want to work. I love doing the program. I would never cancel it. Nunca lo cancelaría. Never. Uh, they won't do it, though. They won't. Come on, guys. They won't. No lo harán. Will not. Yeah, no es want. Porque want es querer. Won't. Won't. Dilo en casa. I will not go. I won't go. They won't do it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Guys, why won't you work? Come on, the show must go on. We must do this. Deberíamos hacerlo. Come on. Ahora dejaremos a un lado la pronunciación de won't, muy bien, muy bien, y vamos a ver, bueno, más pronunciación de otra palabra importante. Aquí tenemos they won't go to the beach. Aquí también tenemos que tener mucho cuidado. Beach y no bitch. Beach, beach, hay que sonreír. Beach. So, they won't go to the beach. Beach. Sí, aquí damos cuenta la, lo importante que es pronunciar bien en inglés. Es importantísimo. Vamos a ver más ejemplos con go to the beach. They won't go to the beach with us this year. No irán a la playa con nosotros este año. Hem, uh, Hermie won't go to the beach ever. Hermie no irá a la playa nunca. ¿Y por qué no? Porque hay medusas. They are jellyfish. La palabra del día. Y él odia jellyfish. Sí, jelly, gelatina, fish, pez o pescado. Jellyfish. He hates jellyfish. I don't like jellyfish either. A mí no me gustan los medusas tampoco. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, I know, I know. Estoy muy morena. Sí, es porque estos días me voy a la playa cada fin de semana. 
Si. I go to the beach every weekend now. Mm -hmm. Do you go to the beach every weekend? Trata de imitar mi asentazo cuando me contestas. Eso. I go to the beach every weekend. Good. Pues este fin de semana también quiero ir a la playa. Pero nadie quiere irse conmigo. No entiendo por qué. Es que Pilar, no. Pilar won't go to the beach with me. Miguel won't go to the beach with me. Mr. Fernandez won't go to the beach with me. And Vanessa, even Vanessa won't go to the beach with me. Tiene que ser porque son tan celosos de mi perfecta color. Oh, well, I'll go to the beach alone if no one will come with me. They're just jealous. I can go to the beach every weekend alone. Yo creo que me queda muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver la última parte de la frase at the end of July. Sí, al final de julio. Y no decimos at the final of. Aquí sí usamos end. At the end of the month. At the end. No lo olvides. At the end of July. Te he dicho que es una pronunciation special. Y sí que es, porque aquí machacamos la pronunciación de July. July. July, repítelo más, July, porque aunque crees que te tienes grabado, siempre salimos, sacamos July o Juli, no, J, J, July, casi como una CH, July, muy bien, y junio, June, excellent. Vemos más ejemplos con at the end of July. I'm going on holiday at the end of July. Voy de vacaciones al final de julio. On holiday, on holiday. Entonces, vamos a ver toda la frase. They won't, muy bien, they won't go to the beach at the end of July. ¿Y qué es won't? La contracción de will y not. Won't. Practícalo en casa, por favor. Uf, it's the end of the day and I am exhausted. At the end of the day, I'm usually very, very tired. Cleaning is a difficult job, but thankfully, at the end of the day, I can relax. Yeah, that's right. We say at the end of the day, not in the end of the day. At the end of the day. So, ¿qué suelo hacer? What do I usually do at the end of the day? I usually watch TV at the end of the day. I usually have something to eat at the end of the day. I usually relax at the end of the day, if I can. And today, I think I'm going to relax, yeah. In fact, I'm really happy because it's also at the end of the month. And you know what happens at the end of the month? We get paid. That's right, we get our salary at the end of the month. So I'm gonna have a little bit of money in my pocket. So that means I've got lots of things that I can do at the end of the day now. But I think today I'm going to go home and watch TV.